Okay, I did a little experiment. Um, a little while ago I showed you my cloning station made with modular hydros air injection technology and you can see the original unit here has a um, what looks like circle hoses attached to an air, of course our airline air pump. However, I decided to add an extension to the unit with regular soaker hoses that I got at Home Depot and I want you to notice the difference in air delivery between modular hydros a AIT air injection hoses and the regular soaker hoses. You can see right here with the regular soaker hose it does an occasional few bubbles that come out and then but modular hydros is just tons of variation so they're obviously did something to their hoses to make them produce a lot more air. The other thing I noticed is with regular soaker hoses, the washes that um, they put on don't weigh the unit down very well if you use soaker, regular soaker hoses because, again, I think there's more air restriction because there's not as many holes in soaker hoses. So anyway, one thing I tried is I took a little, um, took one of these little staple removers and I made some holes in my soaker hose as you can see right here and how it starts to produce a lot more air so I think that's uh, the main difference between the soaker hose system and modular hydros hoses there's definitely a ton more holes is what I think in their system and the way they have it set up so it produces a lot more aeration also puts less pressure on the pump which causes um, the washers to be able to hold the unit down versus a regular soaker hose unit where I actually did a little experiment and actually had to put some rocks to hold it down because the washers wouldn't do so. So anyway, um, just thought I'd give you an updated video since I was highlighting their AIT the other day.